Hello friends in Law Fanatics, myself Lakshya, a legal intern from Lexis and Company. Today I am going to discuss about Section 138 of Negotiable Instrument Act. It is a crucial provision that deals with the dishonor of check for insufficiency of fund in the drawer's account. Dishonor of check. Section 138 applies when a check is issued by a person for discharge of any debt or liability is dishonored due to insufficient funds in the drawer's account. Section 138 provides a legal remedy to the pay, the person to whom the check is issued, for the dishonor of check. The payee must give a written notice to the drawer within 30 days of the dishonor of the check, demanding payment of the amount within 15 days of receiving the notice. If the drawer fails to make payment within 15 days of receiving the notice, he becomes liable for prosecution under Section 138. The dishonor of check under 138 is considered a criminal offence and the drawer can be punished with the imprisonment for a term which may extend to two years or with a fine or with both. In addition to criminal liability, the drawer is also liable to pay compensation to the payee, which may be up to the twice the amount of the check. The initial legal proceedings, the payee must file a complaint in court of competent jurisdiction within one month of the expiry of the notice period, which is 15 days from the receipt of the notice by the drawer. The check must be presented to the bank within a period of three months from the date mentioned on it. If the check is presented after this period, the drawer cannot be held liable under Section 138. In cases where the check is dishonored, the court will presume that the liability or the debt for which the check was issued exists and is up to the drawer to prove otherwise. It is important to note that Section 138 provides a criminal remedy but it does not bar the payee from seeking civil remedies for recovery of the amount due under the check. I hope you are clear with the video. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section.